Okay, hello, welcome back sa aking channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and please like and share this video. Okay, for this vlog, uh, I am going to discuss about solving quadratic inequalities in two variables. You already know naman no, what is uh, quadratic inequalities. Okay. There are quadratic inequalities that involve two variables. These inequalities can be written in any of the following forms. So this one, y is greater than ax squared plus bx plus c. y is greater than a greater than or equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. y is less than ax squared plus bx plus c y is less than or equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, it states here, uh, quadratic inequalities that involve two variables. So, uh, two variables, meron na siyang x and y. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. So, hindi talaga dapat na maging 0 yung a kasi kapag naging 0 yung a hindi na siya quadratic okay so these are the symbols yan ito greater than then less than greater than or equal to then uh, this one this one less than or equal to then these are the examples okay So, example number 1, y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So, solutions. First is, we are going to write the inequality, write the inequality to its corresponding equation. So, yan. Uh, copy lang, y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So, write, we are going to write this inequality to uh, its corresponding equation. So, we will change lang the inequality sign ito to equal sign. So, ito na yung final. Y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. The next step is we are going to construct table of values for x and y. So, for the values of x, kayo nang bahala kung ano yung uh, value ng x ninyo. Sa akin dito, ang nilagay ko, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero kayo, uh, depende na sa inyo kung ano yung mga uh, values ng x. Then sa y, is isosolve pa natin. So, meron na akong values ng x dito. So, ang gagawin ko lang is, isasubstitute ko lang ito mga values sa, ito, sa equation. Okay? So, note, I have here a note. For inequalities with greater than or less than, the graph is dashed or broken line. So, if ang given gani, if ang uh, inequality sign niya is greater than, or greater than or less than, it means the graph is dashed or broken line. Then, another, for inequalities with less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, the graph is solid. So, hindi na siya broken line. Okay, next, isahanapan na natin ng values ang uh, y. So, ito, punahin natin ang negative 5. So, ito yung equation, di ba? y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So, x is equal to negative 5. Sub is substitute lang natin yung negative 5 sa x. So, copy y is equal to negative 5 squared minus 4 times negative 5 minus 5. The negative 5 squared is positive 25. The negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Then, minus 5. Then, 25 plus 20 is 45 minus 5 is 40. So, y is equal to 40. And ito naman, x is equal to negative 4. So, negative 4 squared minus 4 times negative 4 minus 5. Excuse me. Minus 5. 
the negative 4 squared is positive 16. The negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 minus 5. So, 16 plus 16 is 32 minus 5 is 27. So, y is equal to 27. Then, I know, sorry. The next is x is, x is equal to negative 3. So, substitute lang sa equation. Ito yung equation nilagay ko dyan. So, negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3 minus 5. So, negative 3 squared is 9 plus negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. That's why plus 12 then copy negative 5 or minus 5. So, 9 plus 12 is 21 minus 5 is 16. The next x is equal to negative 2. So, negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. That's why plus 8, then minus 5. So, 4 plus 8 is 12, minus 5, 7, positive 7. Then, next, x is equal to negative negative 1. So, negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 5. So, negative 1 squared is 1. Then, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So, that's why plus 4 minus 5. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. Minus 5 is 0. The next x is equal to 0. Then, y is equal to 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 5. So, 0 squared is 0 here. Then, 4 minus 0 is 0, negative 0, minus 0 then, minus 5. So, 0 minus 0 is 0, minus 5 is negative 5. The next is 5. So, 5 squared minus 4 times, negative 4 times 5 is 20, negative 20, then copy negative 5. So, the 5 minus 20 is 5, minus 5 is 0. Then, 4, x is equal to 4. So, 4 squared minus 4 times positive 4 minus 5. So, 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16 minus 5. Y is equal to negative 5. Then, 3. So, ito yung uh, equation ha. Yan, y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So, ang ginawa lang natin is uh, sinubstitute lang natin yung value ng x sa uh, equation. So, 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus 5. Then, 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So, that's why minus 12. Then, copy minus 5. 9 minus 12. Wait. Okay. 9 minus 12 is 7. Minus 5. Uh, no. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. Minus 5 is negative 8. The next is positive 2, so 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. So, 2 squared is 4, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 minus 5. So, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, minus 5 is negative 9. Then, last one, x is equal to 1. So, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 5. So, 1 squared is 1, diba? 1 times 1 is 1. The negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then, minus 5 is so negative, I, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Then, negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. So, meron na tayong value ng y. So, ang gagawin natin is, ilalagay natin siya sa table. So, next, ito na. So, ito na yung na-solve natin. So, if ang x is negative 5, ito yung y niya. Yan. So, yan yung mga values ng y na sinolve natin kanina. So, after nyong makuha ang value ng y is you will uh, plot the coordinates in the Cartesian coordinate plane. So, sorry kung hindi na makita ha, kasi uh, pinikturan ko lang to. Itong uh, linya na to is ito yung mga points. Uh, kinonect ko lang. So, negative 5 and 40 is here. So, ito yung negative 5 and 40. The negative 4 and 27 is here. 3 and 16 is this one. Negative 2 and 7 is this one. The negative 1 and 0 is here. Then, 0 and negative 5 is here. 
then 1 a negative 8 so 1 negative 8 is here so then 2 and 9 2 and 9 is this one then 3 and 8 3 and 8 3 and negative 8 is here dito then 4 and negative 5 here ito then 5 and 0 is here so yan so after yung i-plot yung mga points is i-connect niyo na siya so yung line niyo ha sa pag-connect sa mga points is depende yon sa inequality sign say pag inequality sign is uh, greater than or less than broken line yung gagamitin nyo but if ang uh, given na inequality sign is less than or equal to or less than or equal to the line is solid so hindi siya broken line so since ang uh, given dito sa aking example is greater than or equal to it means yung line niya is hindi broken line so ito Ito yung line na yun. Hindi siya broken line. So, i-connect nyo lang yung mga lines ha. Then, dapat uh, ma-form siya na ganito. Uh, parabola ang tawag dito. So, next is, after nating ma-plot ang points, hahanapan na natin siya ng uh, solution. Or solution set kung as, saan dito ang solution, saan banda ang solution ng uh, given na uh, inequality. So, magsimula tayo dito sa loob. Dito sa loob ng parabola. So, ito, 1 and 10 is nandito sa loob, ba? Ito. Ito. Ito yung 1 and 10. Diyan. Eh, hindi na siya makita. Actually, uh, meron akong label na nilagay dito, pero hindi na siya nakita nung uh, sinaid ko na yung uh, parabola, yung inside ng parabola. So, 1 and 10 so, ang gagawin nyo lang is isa-substitute nyo lang yung 1 and 10 sa original na quadratic inequality. So, ba yung given is ito, y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. Then, it's up to you na ha kung ano yung mga uh, coordinates na kukunin nyo. Basta nandito siya sa loob ng uh, parabola. So, ang pinili ko is itong 1 and 10. Pero, pwede rin kayong pumili ng iba. So, kayo na ang bahala kung anong coordinates ang pipiliin nyo. Then, substitute lang. So, y natin is 10, ba Then, greater than or equal to. Substitute lang yung 1 sa x. So, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 is minus 5. Then, 10 is greater than or equal to 1. 1 squared is 1 times 1 is 1. The negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then, copy minus 5. So, 10 is greater than or equal to 1 minus 4 is negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Then, 10 is greater than or equal to negative 8. Therefore, that's true. Kasi, mas malaki yung 10 kaysa sa negative 8. Then, dito naman tayo. Uh, 2 and negative 2. Yan, 2 and negative 2. Ito dito, 2 and negative 2. Uh, wag yung red ang tatinan nyo ha, itong uh, white. Kasi hindi na, hindi na abot yung ano, red. Itong white yung tingnan nyo, 2 and negative 2. So, ang 2 and negative 2, nandito siya sa baba. Ang 1 and 10, dito sa taas, itong white ang tingnan nyo ha. Sorry. Then, ang 2 and negative 2, dito siya sa baba. So, same lang din, substitute lang, y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. Then, y natin is negative 2, negative 2, then greater than or equal to x negative, x is 2, ba 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. Then, copy negative 2, greater than or equal to 2 squared is 4. Then, negative 4 times uh, 2 is negative 8, so minus 8, then copy minus 5. Negative 2 is greater than or equal to 4 minus 8 is negative 4, minus 5 is negative 9. Therefore, it's true kasi uh, mas, malaki na, mas malaki yung negative 2 kaysa sa negative 9. Opposite yung uh, positive number sa negative number ha, kasi yung negative number uh, mas malaki, for example, Mas malaki ang negative 1 kaysa sa negative 2. 
Pero sa positive number, mas, mas, mas malaki ang positive 2 kaysa sa positive 1. So, ang negative number kapag uh, yung number niya is uh, lumalaki, then ang sign niya is negative, yung value niya is uh, bumababa rin. Pero yung positive number, uh, kapag tumataas yung number, tapos positive number siya, yung value niya is uh, mas lalong lumalaki. Then, dito naman tayo sa left side. Ito, uh, makikita nyo ito, negative 9 and 10. Tingnan nyo yung red na, uh, yung red na, tawag dito? Basta yung red. Okay, negative 9 and 10. So, same lang din, substitute lang sa uh, quadratic inequality. So, y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. Tingnan nyo itong y, ha? Then, y is 10. It's greater than or equal to negative, negative, ay, sorry. Negative 9 squared minus 9 times, ay, minus 4 times negative 9 minus 5. So, negative 9 squared is 81 plus negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36 minus 5. So, kapag, eh, yeah, sinawag nyo yan, ang result is uh, 81 plus 36 is 117 minus 5, so the result is 112. So, 10 is greater than or equal to 112. That's false, di ba? Kasi mas malaki yung 112 kaysa sa 10. Next is negative 7 and 3. So, same lang din. Uh, hindi ko na, na i-explain ng masyado. I-substitute nyo lang. So, ang result is negative 3 greater than or equal to, uh, di ba, 49 plus 28 is uh, 71. Di ba, 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 71. Minus 5 is 71 minus 5 is how much? Minus 5, 6, 56. Sorry, hindi ko na siya masyadong makita. So, negative 3 is greater than or equal to 56. That is false. Kasi, mas malaki yung 56 kaysa sa negative 3. So, same dito. Uh, 8 and 5. So, substitute lang. The result is 5 is greater than or equal to 27. That is false. Kasi, mas malaki yung 27 kaysa 5. Then, ito naman 7 and negative 2. By the way, itong 8 and 5, then 7 and negative 2. Dito na siya na dito na siya na side ay dito na siya na side ha dito na sa right side dito so 7 and negative 2 so substitute lang the result is negative 2 is greater than or equal to 16 so that is false diba kasi yung 16 is greater than negative 2 so ang titingnan nyo is kung alin dyan na mga coordinates ang true so ang nag true lang is itong 1 and 10 Itong 1 and 10 and itong 2 and negative 2. Yan. Then, ang itong 1 and 10 and 2 and negative 2, nandito siya sa loob ng parabola. So, it means, itong loob ng parabola ang isi-shade nyo. Yan. So, that's why uh, shinade ko siya. So, yan na. I hope you understand. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to uh, comment down below. Okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Bye!